One of the recent updates to Rails is that Trix actually got moved into a separate gem. So instead of it shipping with the tricks.js and CSS files directly in action text, which would require a new Rails release to update that version, um, Mike D'Alessio has actually extracted this out into the action text Trix gem, which is awesome. So this lives inside of the Trix repository. Um, this may actually be preparation for the new editor that uh, I know Jorge was um, teasing recently, which I'm excited to see. But this is really useful because um, whenever Trix has like a security update or something, um, this gem can be built and released right alongside the node module and everything. So the benefit for this is we can upgrade Trix independently with the JS and CSS. Um, because that was kind of an issue. If you're using import maps, the NPM package will be then downloaded to your vendor folder um, and you can use the latest version there, but then you also have to work around the CSS because um, import maps don't actually use the CSS and all that. So it's kind of annoying uh, at the moment, but now, or it was, but now you can use this um, in your apps. And so um, if you want to use this, you can add, let me pull up diff dash dash cached. Um, I was making this pull request to jumpstart pro. Uh, basically you add the gem to your gem file action underscore text dash tricks. And then it's going to add itself. I got, uh, some other stuff like turbo rails here, but that new dependency will be there. And then you can delete your vendor, um, tricks copies like you see here. And then um, the other thing, let me go back up to the top. We'll find the config import map.rb file um, because if you have pinned tricks to a specific version using bin import map pin, that will download it from NPM overriding what's in action Texas gem. Um, but we need to be careful to remove this comment here because it's actually going to pull the version from the gem. Um, this is for those vendored versions, uh, files that you have. So I had vendor JavaScript tricks, JS, um, and CSS. So we're going to get rid of those, then use it from action text dash tricks. Um, I've pinned it to 2.1 so we can get all the updates for 2.2 and so on easily. Maybe it needs to be pinned more specifically. That's how they do it in rails. But, um, I like this cause if they're following semantic versioning, then, 2.2, 2.3 shouldn't break anything. But um, yeah, this is a nice update so that we can have action text and tricks uh, upgradable independently. So you can use that in your existing apps, just add the gem to your gem file and then make sure you remove any vendored um, ones and then tweak that uh, accordingly in your uh, config import map.rb to make sure that version number is removed. Otherwise your bin import map command uh, might detect that version and then tell you Trix is vulnerable even though you're on the latest version. Um, so keep that in mind. And um, yeah, I'm excited for this. I assume um, that this will also be very helpful and probably the same approach that the new editor Jorge has been teasing uh, will work. So it will probably be integrated with action text, but have its own gem and integratable or updatable independently. So I thought this was awesome. Um, and yeah, you can use this with your existing apps because if you take a look at the gem, the gem spec here does not specify any dependencies on version. So you can use this with any version of Rails. Um, it doesn't matter as long as you have rail ties. So that is slick. Um, I'm glad to see this. This is probably something that should have been done a long time ago, but you know what? Better late than never. So I'm excited for that and looking forward to see what comes to action text here in a couple months.